Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to the stream. And before we dive into it, I have three questions for you. First question: Did you like the stream yet? If you haven't, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Secondly, uh, I forgot what was the second. Yeah, hang on. Yeah. So secondly, uh, did you like the video that I uploaded earlier today about the bar dance? How many of you watched it? And how many of you got clickbaited today? And the third question, of course, who do you think is going to be the special guest who is going to join us in about five minutes? So three questions. Uh, the first one, I already know the answer. The second and third, feel free to come up with your answers. And in case, you know, for those uh, over smart uh, people who have already figured out what the third question is, sorry, uh, the answer to the third question. Uh, the fourth question, can you help me with uh, the questions for the guest? Because I really haven't done my homework here. I've been uh, incredibly lazy as always. So you can all uh, <laughs> click it and Arjun. I like that answer. The <laughs> Indian Ali Deza. You've been following Mr. Dodgy uh, on Twitter, haven't you? All right. So a couple of just a couple of minutes more before our guest joins us. So get in your guesses uh, as quickly as you can. It could be anyone. It could be uh, even someone from the chat. Could even be someone who's part of the chat. It could be someone who has been uh, uh, routinely making, uh, routinely pranking you guys. French surgeon. Divya only uh, talks to me on chat these days, you know, she never uh, DMs me. How sad. When people become popular, when people become celebs, how they change. With Divya, her frequency of uh, texting me has gone down to once per day to once per year after she became popular. A little jig of what? Divya, I mean, I would, I would send you the link, but uh, we might see some chess analysis today, you know, and I'm not sure how interesting that would be for you. That's why I'm hesitating. I know, right, Shristi? Okay, uh, now I'm just... Uh, hunting time. I mean, not hunting time. Now I'm just... Uh, now I'm just... What? I, I can't find the word. But I guess I don't have to anymore. Because I do have someone in the waiting room. And uh, just give me a moment. Hi. Hi. I cannot hear you. I think you are on mute. Hang on. Let me bring you on screen first. And he here we are. Let's welcome the star of the Tata Steel tournament, the star of the year, the guy who has been, uh, yes, Arjun, I know that I'm on mute on Zoom. I just 
forgot how to i cannot stream. hear anything i kept it on mute on purpose i was introducing you ah okay you spoiled my introduction now you have to introduce yourself go uh, well hi this is arjun hi this is arjun that's it who is arjun arjun irgeti it's me from mahabharat <laughs> when did arjun irgeti figure in mahabharat Okay, so we have the star of the Tata Steel uh, Rapid, the star of the Tata Steel Blitz, the star of the champion Chesto who qualified to the knockouts this year, and uh, I think it's safe to say that he has been the reveal of twenty twenty one in Indian chess, and this is something extraordinary because there has been a lot of achievements in twenty twenty one in Indian chess. There has been so many promising performances, so many uh, amazing performances by many many people. but i think arjun has outshined them all to such an extent that people have started calling you the indian ali reza how does how does that feel arjun oh that's a great compliment i i saw that tweet by dodgy so. yeah so what do you what, what would you prefer would you prefer to be called as the indian ali reza or the indian no, ding that the tough question maybe Maybe Indian Ali Reza because he's my age and I used to know him pretty well. You're not. Uh, you don't know him that well anymore. Yeah, I don't talk to him so much anymore. Right. Cool. So there are going to be a few fun segments on uh, stream today. Uh, to start with, uh, I have been talking extensively about. Uh, how you started chess how you um, you know no uh, i didn't talk about i've been talking extensively about how we met for the first time in 2018 and uh, how things developed for us post that but uh, what uh, perhaps we can talk about today is uh, how did it all begin for you like when did you start playing chess and how how did that happen Yeah, so when I was really young, like six or something, we used to live in Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. Oh, so you used to live in Andhra Pradesh? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. So my father used to work in Sims. Mm-hmm. So we used to live there, and and my teacher that suggested me to suggested my parents to get me into chess. Mm-hmm. I think I was so sure. Okay. And so my parents thought it would be a cool idea, and but in Tirupati, that it was kind of not possible, and and it happened when we came to Varangal. So my mm-hmm. initial coach was Sampat sir in Varangal. Okay. Yeah, I used to. It was more like a hobby back then, obviously. And right. And, and a lot of fun. what was what what was like your uh, first major achievement? This is not an achievement or something, but I solved a mating three puzzle book in like six days, which a lot of people struggled. Wow! Yeah, so back then, sir was really impressed. One second, I'm just updating the title. So you solved you solved a mate in uh, three puzzle book in six days. Uh, how quickly? Quickly. Uh, like how 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 long it had been since you started playing chess before you ah uh, that did this five six days maybe I don't know. It was back in twenty ten. Oh, so one. you you started chess and then within five six days you solved. A million oh, people. One month. I honestly don't remember. It's been like ten years. I think. I think even one month. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. And uh, what was your uh, first major uh, tournament victory? I finished second in under nine state selection in some wizard. So this was uh, the yeah okay so Super. the Andhra Pradesh state. Yeah. Right. Back then it was to be under. Yeah, back then it was just one state. That's how I 
remember studying it in my school yeah. so yeah i was unweighted and and i fit reweighted for something over there also mm-hmm. final round uh, my opponent is rahul sivan so bad okay and he offered me and so had i accepted it i would have won the tournament but i went all in lost and yet finished second ah okay sounds like your tata still blitz not really i didn't go all in yes yeah but the last round and the other things mm, yeah that did so this was uh, so you started playing chess in 2011 yeah mm-hmm. and uh, this was in which year yeah it was in 2011 uh, this was also in 2011 yeah so your first year first state championship you already finished uh, um, i think in the second some, place some other tournament in anantapur or somewhere before that in, in the same year mm-hmm. that was some open event or something right 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 but still your first state championship and you finished second yeah yeah nice nice and what was what was your first major tournament when like what was your first national championship win so the same year that played under the national in bhuvaneshwar mm mm-hmm. and this is a tournament i'm still very proud of it was my first ever rated tournament I faced all eleven rated opponents, and I scored six and half, which is plus two. Awesome! My first national championship, I think I scored something similar, six out of nine. But none of my opponents were rated. Yeah, that makes a big difference. But you know, back in my time, the minimum uh, rating I, was two thousand. Oh yeah, it used to be a lot higher. Yeah, it used to be a lot, lot harder in my time to get rated. And I guess, I guess, pretty soon you started playing uh, against kids like Nihal, yeah, and uh, and twelve. In two thousand twelve and under nationals, I I played against Nihal as well as twelve. Yeah, I remember. I have seen uh, some of those games. You know, uh, what I noticed is uh, it always used to end in a draw. most of the time no i beat nihal there i lost to prabh oh okay you drew the first blood against nihal yeah and, and did you win that tournament i think it was really upset after the game understandably so i was also really upset when i lost against you but, but when when i was young i hardly cared about the results i used to be the same even if i don't so do well when You still look the same. People uh, were noticing about you know how regardless of what happens in your game, you just ended with a smile. And uh, yeah, that's a good sportsmanship, I think. So I stick to it. Right. And when was when was your first uh, national uh, victory? I actually finished fourth quite a lot of times. Like for example, in twenty twelve. Under nine, I finished fourth, mm-hmm. and in two thousand fourteen, it was under eleven in two D. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Damodaran used to like crush every national in our category. But... I remember, yes. Yeah, in Ahmedabad, he scored eleven on the one. Which year was this? Two thousand two, under nine. Ah, okay. Yeah, he was twenty. And two thousand fourteen also he won. Yeah, so again for context yeah. for people who are watching, there used to be this kid called Ram Arvind, who used to be a very strong chess player and uh, very very fast with his calculation, and uh, he used to win a lot of tournaments around when uh, uh, many of the existing prodigies played like Nihal, Arjun, Prag, and the two thousand fourteen national was also won by Ram Arvind, right? Yeah, but in fact, this year it was close. So in the final round, I was playing, mm-hmm. and so okay, I think he and Adonia were in joint lead. I, Nihal, and Kostya were half a point behind him. Mm-hmm. 
So I was playing the Amazon, Nihal was playing Madonna. And Nihal had a good tablet, so he just made a great film. Yeah. And so I was black with the Amazon. I, I somehow managed to outplay him. Mm-hmm. I was totally winning. He offered me a job. I don't know why, but okay, I used to be very scared. This was the thing. I asked yeah, tell people about how you used to be very scared for such a long time. So I accepted and and I finished fourth. So had I won, I would have won the tournament. Yeah, I I I also noticed this portion. So what I remember from this national under eleven was there used to be uh, several uh, twenty move draws between the players. You know, twenty twenty five move draws. Yeah. So I believe uh, at that point almost uh, a lot of people were scared of each other. Nihal was scared of you. You were scared of Nihal, and I was the most scared of them. Understand everything. Right, Rama even was like how Ali Reza is right now, yeah, crushing everyone. Yeah. And uh, when did you start working with? Uh, uh, so your first coach was uh, uh, Sampath sir, and then you when did you start working with Rama Reza sir? Oh no, before that, uh, I worked with Sudarshan sir, who who mm-hmm. used to live in Hyderabad, but he he came to Varangal just for me. And yeah, I used to travel to tournaments with him, Agni, Sai Agni Ji. Yeah, and, and there used to be another another guy called Vivek. We all mm-hmm. used to travel to tournaments together. It used to be fun. This was until twenty fourteen or something. And after this, in twenty fifteen, I started working with them. He's from Hyderabad, right? Oh yes, yes. So how did how did that work? Uh, you being from Varangal. I used to be in Hyder like at his academy. Okay. There, there used to be a lot of students: Harsha, Rahul, Vikrant, and some others. So Harsha, Bharta, Koti, uh, Rahul, Srivastav, and uh, Ritwik, all of them about twenty four hundred, twenty four fifty. Harsha also a grandmaster about twenty five hundred. All of them were at uh, Rama Rajasas. Right, who is also the coach of uh, Harika and uh, several other strong players, yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then how did yeah, it continue? Was that? Good. Like when did you when did you actually become really strong and less scared of people? I, I think it was when I got the grandmaster title. Although I was still scared of a few people. Yes, that I don't remember. Yeah. But I yeah, think you were already I, quite strong even before you became a grandmaster. Because my uh, first impression of you, I I I noticed you quite late, just like everyone else. But my first impression of you was during the twenty seventeen online Olympiad. Where, uh, sorry, I keep saying online Olympiad. Twenty seventeen World Under sixteen Olympiad, when under. you played for uh, which team? India Green. India Red. Right, India Red, and you drew against Nihal, and I think you had a pretty solid tournament throughout, right? Yeah, okay. Our, our achievement was we were the only ones who beat the Russia. Oh, the team that won the tournament. Yeah, the team that won it. And how was your personal result? Oh, uh, I beat Fakhri Dinoti, no? Uh huh. And Mitra Bhai also scored. Jay Kumar too. Mitra Bahu is the seventy second grandmaster of India, I guess, or the seventy first. I don't know. It's so hard to keep track of these things with yeah. the grandmaster every minute. And uh, why is Divya saying? Mm-hmm. Did she also play in the twenty seventeen tournament? At least not in my. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. Divya, I first met in twenty eighteen. And uh, we all know how the first uh, meeting tournament, went. yeah, first meeting went with the note boom and everything. It started with Uno. Started with what? Yeah, started with Uno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since then, we have been uh, frenemies. 
Uh, also, Pranshav, you are welcome to the Knights. And there is a super chat from uh, Arjit Saha. Hi, Arjun. Hello from Varangal. Congrats for Tata Steel Chess. Thank you. So, uh, I also wanted to bring into picture uh, one more coach that you have worked with who has also worked with several strong players apart from Raman Ajusar, uh, Grandmaster Victor Mikhailovsky from you, uh, from Israel. Uh, how did how did that start? When did you start working with him? How did he uh, know you? And uh... that started in twenty seventeen, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he he helped me a lot. We used to work online mostly, but we once met in World Youth twenty seventeen in Uruguay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he helped me a lot there. I got silver medal there. Oh, nice. But if I if I uh, if I uh, remember right, uh, you haven't won uh, any world youth, right? No, no. Or uh, any? Uh, uh, have you have you won any national championship? Oh, yes, I won national under thirteen in twenty sixteen. Oh, okay. So yeah, you have won more league. national championship than me. And I won Asian youth once in twenty seventeen. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm proud of that also. I finished ahead of Abdul Fateh also. Nice, but you know, frankly speaking, uh, you have you have beaten Abdul Sattaru quite a few times, no? I recently lost. Yeah. Oh yeah, you recently lost in Sharjah, but for me, I remember the World Under 16 game the yeah. most. That was a great game. And uh, you are around the same level, I guess, right? Uh, to be fair. No, uh, also, also in terms of rating. I think it's slightly more high. Than it. I don't yeah, but uh, I mean, taking into account all the ratings, and uh, now you can always brag that about your blitz rating whenever anyone talks about any rating. I have only my uh, chess.com highest blitz rating to brag about. Which you got by unfair means. It was by fair means. It was exactly for fair means. It was fair play. The reason itself was fair play. You don't deserve that. <laughs> Come on. But who beat you like that? Like you, you got a refund of 300 years or something, right? Yeah. So imagine how much uh, unfair people how much unfairness I had to go through to get there. So you sensed that you would get this. That is why you were. Yeah, I, I sensed that my opponent was cheating. So I kept playing against him. And uh, I thought at least I'll try to win one game. But it didn't did happen. Huh? Did you manage to score at least a draw? No. How can I do it against Stockfish? No, like against some, some cheaters, it's not impossible. Like. Against some clever cheaters, like who don't you against uh, every single day. But you know, in any case, uh, uh, so much unfairness has been done to me through all my life, especially uh, by all you nasty kids. So chess.com thought it's fair and deserved that I get like 300 points. That's how life gets balanced. Yeah, anyway, you lost it back. It's the highest rating that matters, you know. What is your highest rating on chess.com? It's actually 31 million, but it's 3107 or something. And minus? Fine. <laughs> How much is mine? 3132, right? 3132, yes. So highest, highest blitz rating. You know, you can you can you can be 2760, 2770 or whatever in uh, FIDE Blitz Arjun, but in chess.com, you still have some achievements to scale. Yeah. I'll some high school to beat. Yeah. Also, a couple more uh, super chats, um, which I missed. Uh, Krishna, congratulations on the fantastic final match, Arjun. And uh, Sai Teja Chakravartula, please ask Arjun to speak in Telugu. Uh, and me in Tamil. It makes no sense at all. Yeah, I don't think I can understand any of Tamil. 
yeah i don't think i can understand uh, your telugu either so uh, through this journey uh, so to basically sum up your journey you started playing uh, chess at 2011 and uh, immediately showed a lot of promise um, with your uh, i guess you just had this natural flair for chess you were solving uh, mate in threes really quickly and uh, you finished second in your first state championship and uh, i think you have grown uh, relatively quite fast uh, since and your grown but again again 2016 to 2018 i got three years left at around 2300 I just couldn't make any progress, and so it was a time when I was going to give my dent exam. So I was not even sure if I would continue chess professionally. Okay, so you are not making any uh, external progress, but I do think you are uh, getting stronger, right? Internally, Maybe that was the case, but I didn't realize it myself. Uh, you didn't realize it at that time, but now looking back. and looking for example if you were to look at your 2016 2017 games would you notice a difference in strength through the time maybe some inconsistencies but you are surely getting stronger right and then you jumped from yeah, 2000 yeah, to 2000 yeah 2018 and all fed off and oh yeah in 2016 ever float for was a disastrous tournament for me but i i had learned a lot from it right How much? How much did he score in the Lido Float? So I had recently entered twenty three hundred. It was twenty three seventy nine. I played well in Delhi, Chennai, some other tournament in Hyderabad. All three went well, and from twenty one hundred, I I said went it went to twenty three hundred. That to twenty three seventy nine, and I was clearly overrated there. Yeah, I think around the same time, Nihal was something like twenty two ten or twenty two twenty. When I was twenty one. Uh, when you were twenty, about two thousand sixteen, first half, the February or March. I think it was twenty two hundred when I was twenty one. If I remember, we played uh, for the year and uh, two back to back games, and yeah, since he was the higher rated, I was happy with that draw. Happy with that draw. That fear has gone, no, from yeah. you, no. Gone. Yes, yeah, so I scored two one nine in error slot. That mm-hmm. too, one of those two points was a buy. Oh, that sounds like one of Samay's uh, OTB tournaments. He got a buy too. Yeah, he also got a buy. He also, I think, scored two points in Kolkata. Ah, the recent one. Yeah. Happy to blitz. Um, blitz. But maybe the tournament you played was a bit stronger. Just a bit, yeah. Yeah, just a bit, just a bit stronger. All right. And uh, is there anyone, anyone else that uh, who played a important part in your career who you would like to thank or acknowledge, apart from uh, your parents and the coaches that we mentioned? That's it, I guess. That caught you by yeah, surprise, and, yeah. And and another lesson. Divya is Divya is full on active on chat. I don't know what she is expecting for you to thank her or for your opponents to thank her. Oh, All right. So we we move on to the next segment now that people know a bit about you and. how uh, uh you have grown how you have uh, progressed the next challenge which is uh which is maybe the easiest part for you on stream is going to be an ultra bullet match between you and me and looking we stop forward. what i'm looking forward yeah and we stop with my first win I have not done any practice today on ultra bullet. I hope you haven't either to keep things fair. Yeah, no. All it's right. You know why since I played ultra bullet, my account. What do you mean from my account? 
just to lose rating from nihal's account out okay so ultra bullet the first win uh, that i do we stop with that so chat how much time do you think it would take for me to score my first win and arjun you you can cha- you can log in and challenge me yeah. casual Why, 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 why cash? What is the other thing? Okay, I don't mind rated either. Huh? I don't mind rated either. Huh, challenge being rated, no? Yeah. Come. Accepted. Challenge accepted. And here we go. You're not as highly rated as I thought you were. Can people see? Huh, it's on stream. Of course. Do you think I would allow? Yes. First game a lot closer team. than I expected. Oh yeah, right. Lot closer than you expected. You all learned to trash talk, yeah? How much time did you spend with AD recently? games okay do you think i have the or not uh that might be quite expensive for you what do you think i'm which one I'm actually pretty sure you'll adopt me. Adopt me. That game was very close. Just at the start. Do I have so less time? You have half your time remaining. Ah, 
Anyway, I'm going to get flagged. Just saw that coming here. Yeah? I've lost count of how many games it has been. I have a feeling that today's stream is going to go all night. What nonsense is this? Two players completely. <laughs> Just having full on fun. No? That was close. So close. Dirty. I gave you pizza. Oh yeah, right. Like that was intentional. Yeah, I gave you a shot. You should win this. You have nine seconds, I have only two seconds. It's fine. It's been so long since you played as well. Yeah, I know.
When I don't look at time, uh, it just goes down. Give me three notes. Yeah, three notes. I'm giving you time odds every game, huh? Such a flanger, such a dirty flanger. That becomes slow. Yeah, I haven't uh, touched my mouse to do such things in a long time. You spend only two seconds the whole game. What's wrong with you? I'm tired of it. See how I'm giving you time out every game. Play this as if I fix some main name. Hmm. This opening with with knight g4 bishop a6. I've lost count. I don't care anymore. It's eighteen. Yes, very good. I didn't ask you, Galaji. What dirty move, Bishop E two. Nasty. Yes, yes, yes. Not bad, not bad. Nineteen one. Nineteen is good. I would be happy with. So I have nothing to complain. <laughs> I don't want to stop. I'm sure we can continue. I don't mind either. Chat should we continue? Yes or no? And if so, to how many games should we continue? It's double adoption avoided. They were the most disappointed. Yeah, you sh I should have just played beat the entire. Game. Let's put a poll. There's just so much yes and no. Is it even still in chat? Yep. Divya is both on my uh, Skype chat and uh, YouTube chat. I should have played B three as the word. Uh, only in this context, I'd be able to hear from you. I hope. Only in this context. Uh, I hope to hear from you only in this context. Oh, by the way, I played B three against Kalita. I I have been. I was informed. Okay. Because I was informed. Do you think people would miss that? Devi is asking if you care so much about uh, her being in the chat. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay, so people people are like you know fifty uh fifty games. Uh, so we can do this. Okay. Uh, let's play till e either either till you get fifty wins or e if I get five wins. Okay. Fair enough. 
Actually, it's not fair. How is it not fair? Uh, it may be. It it's is. actually not fair. What you're saying is yeah. true because so, your score is 19 yeah. is to 1. Yeah. So my target should be 2 and yours should be 50 mathematically. But I'm being generous and gracious as always. Yours should be 3 and mine should be 50. Uh, mine should be two because only when you get 57, I'm supposed to get my third one by 57. Yeah, uh, yeah. This max might be a subject you like, Arjun, but it's not, it's not ultra bullet. So, do we continue? Ah, uh, come. This is going to be a long match then. Don't you think I'll get uh, five wins in the next five minutes? Lost on time before I can. Hey, why don't you play me? Huh? You always take my chess. Yeah, I try to play good chess. I don't try to flag brutally like this nasty new generation, you know. People in my uh, times, they used to believe in a certain kind of culture and respect and all these things. Can't say the same about you, kids. <gasps> no! Okay, that came a lot faster. Yes, 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 I flagged you. Yes, I flagged you. <laughs> Hang on. So I got 50% towards my target. And uh, one second. Let me bring up the scores on the screen so that. So I'm only going to put the scores on the screen. You People can guess. Who, who score is how much? Okay, let's continue. Yes. Look, look what happened when you played 1b3. <laughs> I regret that. What? I regret that. Even in Ultra Bullet. <laughs> even in Ultra Bullet, look what happened when you played 1b3. Only look. That. Arjun, see, this is why, this is why you don't play 1b3. Although I won in, in Rapid. Uh, I mean, sometimes you can win with your strength. But not always. Yeah, okay. 
now you are much closer to your target yep just one and half more required i should have uh, mated even before in that game you know but my dad walked in at that moment and i got a bit distracted i had a mating yeah Did the mod save? Yeah, already take. Good start, but messed up. Good opening. What a dirty flag you are, Mr. Rajan University. Are you proud? That's a little bit for you. Oh, as if as if you don't flag in other formats. <laughs> yeah, which I mean, bullet are the bullet. Not in you classical. You you flagged me even in classical, okay? I did not flag you. You blundered and lost. You would have flagged me. <laughs> This. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Half point more. You have to score twenty five points more. Such a good game. Okay, still, 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 still. Ah. I should learn this keyboard thing on leeches, you know. Oh come on, that's unfair. 
all is fair in ultra bullet and nonsense Fine, fine, fine. I'll let you take this one. People in the chat are asking for the score. My score is twenty-eight and a half, and Arjun's score is zero. Yeah, sure. Four and a half. Half your time. What what nonsense who's king of it? Who plays that? The black six against Nadeep. Almost got it. Yeah. Lucky all the time again, Jimmy. Losing in every single game, flagging me in every single game. Yes, I, I am beating twenty nine. Sorry. Alka bullet. You cannot complain that I am flagging. Take the queen. Take the queen. Ah. Looks like this is going to be a close match. laughing no so gleefully at each of my blunders no like i i almost got me there and you just give it to you and guy arjun has to reach 50 i'll reach 5 Not with it.
dirty, dirty, dirty. What does the aesthetic is my point? Ah! Fine. You just need to so score close. Off the so close, so close, so close. I should have got that one. Just blink, my time goes down. Yes, win with a flag. Nice, nice, good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> so tired. So 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 tired. But and then you won some rating. Okay, that's all I want. I want 10 years of not bad. Since you are my guest on the stream, I had to let you gain some rating. But next time we play Ultra Bullet, I'm going to get all of that back. Yeah, we'll see. Today I know how uh, Samai feels about chess in general. Yes. Losing so many games and being happy with a find of 36 and off score. It's like. My life in the shoes of some other chess player. He is an underrated and he plays against title players. And they are, you are a GM, I am a GM. No difference. <laughs> I'm not a GM in Ultra Bullet. And uh, you are not just a GM in Ultra Bullet. Okay, thank you. What do you. People are asking now where is culture gone? But I was also winning in this position. I was not just. I didn't just flag, you know. I played proper equal chess. Medi equal material. It's, in <laughs> it's a winning pawn and game. <laughs> what? You can't change the pawn. It's a draw. What? what? Nonsense. <laughs> this is a winning pawn and game. We can... Uh, if you want, I can ask Divya to come and show how black wins here. Uh, people are people in the chat are like you know I'm your uh, you're my not just my father now you're my grandfather great great grandfather. I don't want that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Arjun. All right, so moving on to some actual chess, some actual chess content. And from here on, you'll be taking over. Uh, we'll have a look at some of your uh, favorite uh, games on uh, stream. And uh, not not your favorite, but the games that you pick from the Tata Steel uh, Chess Championship. 
Now I know that there were a lot of good games by you. You played exceptionally well. For me, one of my personal favorites uh, was your second game against Aronia. And even though you lost, uh, you drew that game, which must have felt like a loss. I felt that it was incredible to outplay someone like Aronia like that in a Queen's Gambit accepted. And it was a pure strategic outplay. You you cleanly outplayed him. I thought, and uh, I felt I felt really good seeing that. But leaving it up to you, bringing yeah, up actually that opposite color of Bishop and Kim was actually quite effective too. Yeah, I know, but uh, it was also kind of insane. Yeah, uh, taking your bishop like that and taking bishop into f seven, it's not findable in thirty seconds. Oh, no, I did consider the bishop f seven idea, but I had yeah. to get the king to h five first. Exactly, exactly. It's very hard to work that out with limited time. Yeah, okay. We had around ten seconds each. Yeah, and you also didn't know to look for a win, right? I'm sorry. You also didn't know that you had to look for a win no. there. That there right. was a win. So starting, uh, what do you want to start with? Uh, your the games that you mentioned to me, the Lee Kuan game, or uh... I'm really happy with the game against Lee Kuan. Maybe we can start with. Cool. So the first game, uh, Arjun Black against. Uh, Lee Kuang as white from the last round of the Tada Steel Blitz, the prelims. And uh, where are you going, Amritash? We just started the stream. Till now, it was just the warm up. The stream is not glitching. It is uh, the theme of my stream. And uh, yeah, uh, just a second. Uh, before we join cool so let's start take us take us to this game i cannot see the word ah yeah so uh let me uh so there are two ways we can do this i can just uh Invite you here yeah. on leeches. And uh, you can just take take me through the game and yeah. make the moves and arrows and everything. I'll just flip the moon. Yeah. Shut so here is the thing. I was black and I was kind of in a must win situation. And the best part about this is this is probably the first time that I was confident that there's a decent chance that I would be able to win. The Blitz tournament. Oh no, like with Lake Wong, with black in a must win ah. situation. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think I was a bit confident. He's such a strong and solid Blitz player. Yes, but uh, all your uh, recent wins also what? has an effect, yeah? Yes, true, but I was black and, and with black it's really tough to score the win against someone like Lego. Yeah, absolutely. With any color in the last round uh, on demand. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. He made a course on 3C3 here. The London system on chessable. Um, yes, but it is, 3C3 is to avoid the bishop f5 system. The point is queen b3, queen c8, c4, and it's some position where, where he knows better than. Okay. So I was expecting this, but, but yeah, he played this. It's in c4. It was semi club anti modern. I have. I had a game against Vidit in the same tournament. In the ship, he played bishop e2, it was dc4, e4, e5. So it's, oh, sorry. Bishop c4, b5, bishop e2. So something like this. Mm -hmm. In the end, I won the game. Right. But b3 is very solid. Uh, b3 in this position, guys, not in on the first move. In this position, in this setup. 
Yeah, so here, uh, if not for bishop e2, black goes e5. Either bishop e3 or bishop e2. Both ran into e5 and black get a good position. I don't remember the exact point, but with the bishop on e2, e5 doesn't work well. Mm -hmm. It's probably because of cd, cd, knight, b5. Okay. So, okay, this is very solid. And yeah, in the same tournament, I had a game with Nikhil in which he played bishop f1 here. Mm -hmm. and that game I played h6 and later I checked e5 was in my friends. It's a complex question. Right. And so he started with g2. So I didn't exactly know how to play. I just wanted to get out of his step and I just played this. So yeah, I'm, these positions can be uh, quite complex in general. Yeah, just the nature of these positions with this kind of a center. Right. Uh, it's yeah. not easy for black to decide when black should play c5 or e5, or in some cases include dc and do this exact same thing. And uh, I felt that what you did with uh, dc4, bc4, e5, it felt a bit uh, risky to me here uh, initially. You know, at first side, it felt a bit risky to me. Uh, to play this at this point. In fact, it was not the best. Yeah, uh, I can understand. I mean, in a classical game, I, I feel that uh, this would be... Uh, this can get quite uh, bad for black. Yeah. Okay, even in this game, I got a bad position. Right. At these positions, like, around this point, they look very dry, but they can get really complex. Yeah, they, they, they are very complex for black, true. Uh, you know, uh, when you face it on the board without having worked it out with Stockfish, um, I think I've seen I've seen the best of players go wrong here. People like Kramnik and uh, Liko and Gelf. And it's, it's, it's really hard to know with black what you should exactly do without having analyzed this question you know, before having it in the game. Yeah. So, as soon as after you played Bishop F1, I realized that. I messed up. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't find a good move here because we have like nice moves like bishop g2, a4, h4, and I just couldn't couldn't see a decent move for me. So yeah. I thought g6 is some reflexes against knight h4, knight f5, but it also weakened the a1 h8 then. Yeah, right. I think a6 was a really poor cool move. It really weakened the basic spawn. But I was running low on time and I just didn't know what to play, so I just made a move. Typically, what do you do in a blitz game? Yeah, yeah like surprisingly, a bit unusually, I was taking a lot of time on the second day. Uh, I was down on time on most of the games. Hmm. And I don't know what went on. This was happening. So, You're playing like Nihal. Yeah, but it doesn't suit my style. Okay, I was trying to play first and and yeah, here he is already threatening to take on Ifa and take so D Ifa, Knight Ifa, Knight Ifa, Bishop Ifa, Queen B6. Uh, right. So maybe you can just show that. Like a random move, and uh, you cannot play queen into e5 because of knight d5. Mm. So, and bishop into e5, the b6 pawn hangs. So, you prevented this with the. Uh, um, I wanted to go b5 at first, but I don't bishop a3, and, and this. I probably have to play queen e6, and this looks very short. Maybe there is nothing happening after all, but it just felt shaky and I didn't want to spend a lot of time calculating. It just didn't feel safe, yeah? Yeah, that's a deep one. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is just bad, I guess. Yeah, it certainly looks bad. So, the C5 is bad too, but at least, oh, I think D5 is the way here. Mm-hmm. 
and he has a nice predicted posture and you can manage his pieces like this and look for some f4 at some point hmm. also a4 a5 is an idea he has a great position but it at least keeps the game going and, and if i manage to get look f8 knight e8 knight e6 f5 i would be having a decent position but of course i'm not in time for all of it yeah you're not in time for it for sure yeah. because the queen side plays coming so fast yeah i would be i would have been totally worse here luckily mm -hmm. for me he took one e5 maybe maybe he thought he can win the b6 pawn initially but initially. miss some rook b8 uh, related yeah, stuff yeah then he took this and he, he loses the bishop hmm yeah. By this point, I was already somewhat confident. Maybe he should have taken, taken, and then played a four. No, but that allows him rook d. Rook d to check. Yeah, or direct rook d. Maybe it's all the defense at that position. If it yeah, this rook b is really annoying. Maybe that's what he missed. You know, rook d, rook d, queen b six, bishop g two, king g two, rook b eight. Yeah, that would. If it were like pawn and h6 and pawn and g7, then I would have been totally sure that I'm doing very well. But since the pawn structure is like this, this could be a potential weakness. Mm. If it four works, if I have to go back to b8 or c7, then that's just terrible for me. Right. So, okay, he went for f4. Initially. I took takes takes and I thought I at least have takes 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 check king seven or g six and I saw up to this point and I thought it's okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is not good. There is some g four. Hmm. That is. But you of... you have some counter play here, yeah. You like you move the queen. Yeah, it's a ninety four check. Right, but maybe he can start with check and now I have queen h one, but players yeah. are not pushing for the draw. Yeah, you're the one. You're the one playing for a draw. I think white king just escapes here. Yes. Yeah, but in blitz maybe you can just, but you take with the queen, yeah. Queen yeah, queen six. And then. Uh, EF for this bishop. Yeah, this is like one of her uh, ultra bullet games. Yeah. Black loses everything. Yeah, so then I, I started decided to, to throw the kitchen sink at him. I started to look at this bishop f4 idea, and at first I didn't think it was working because I saw up to this point. So I left the variation of the knight this way, but after some time, out of desperation, I had to make this work, and I realized I can take, take, and go here. This is actually just take. Nice. This is quite went, deep. Yeah, and it is. a lot of things to see in a blitz game. Yeah, I spent quite some time for bishop f4, and here, in case of king h1. This takes and knight h one. No, that doesn't work because of knight e seven. I thought you can just take on b three and place rook e to check. Oh. Oh yeah, that is smart. Then. I missed this. Thank game. you. Thank you. Although it looks shaky. Okay, I have G3. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I this is winning. Yeah, at least advantage. Yeah. Yeah, advantage. Yeah. But... I missed the idea with take followed by check and take it. I was only considering queen e2, which was not working. Yeah, but queen e2 is quite tempting. Yeah, but there's nothing there. King h1. I think I saw something else during the game. 
Uh, maybe it's green as two, we should be there next. No, this doesn't seem to be working because it's nice. Yeah, just again like an ultra bullet game. Light has all the pieces. Yeah. I don't know. I cannot wait for it. Okay, let me leave for me. Oh, King H2 was the main mode that I considered and he played there. Also, it looks the most natural. Oh yeah, King H1. Oh no. Green GT I looked at, but it fails to my different. Hmm. Yeah, okay, probably this is the best which you said is the text of the knowledge. But, but this is clearly not what I was intending during the game. Quite hard to see uh, with all the mating ideas to, you know, stop him. But yeah, yeah a bit unnatural to see yeah. during a game. Yeah, so had I seen this, I think I would have still taken Bishop G2. Mm hmm. But probably when when is stronger as well. So as I mentioned, knight d5 loses to bishop d5 followed by rook e2. Mm -hmm. And I win the b2 bishop. Right. So he went rook g1 more or less quickly, and I think he totally overlooked rook e3. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's just winning here. And I started to show my brilliance. You started to show my brilliance from him. <laughs> I show winning and stood up to it. Okay, Queen G3, six, 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 six. Knight G4 is just made on the spot. Yeah, Knight G4 is just made on the spot. True. Yeah, Queen H2 is inevitable. And Knight G4 then went to Queen H4. Yeah. So, okay, let's. But... It's if it's not for it, something like 94 is going to But it's just so, so, so part of your natural instinct to just see a pawn and take a pawn, yeah? Yeah, I mean, even 94, such a passive move, it's just winning. And yeah, it, it was so stupid of me to take this pawn. Look at fun, and I'm just screwed here. Because if I go queen d2, bishop f6, this pawn is really strong. Yeah. So, so see I pawn, think, take pawn. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, you you're the you're the actual. I mean, all the people call Vedat as greedy, greedy. We all know that you're the actual. And uh, I was also thinking about the nickname related to that. What? Ah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Back to chess. So that is also chess only. Whatever. So yeah, I think this is my best chance here after the gift. I have to sacrifice my king, but I have four points for the piece. Although he has the bishop pair advantage. And I think objectively also black should be fine. Huh. But it's hard to imagine that white can be worse here, yeah? Yeah, I don't think white is worse at this point, but after the few minutes, okay, we both got as soon as B4 was bad, I think, because it really shattered his A3 bishop's death. Right. Also, it gave me a protected pass. Mm -hmm. So... If I manage to tear off this knight to one of his bishops, he's just winning. Especially if I manage to tear off this bishop, it's just winning because I have four points and four points are much superior to the bishop. One pair. bishop. Yeah. But bishop pair compensates here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, here it started playing really well. Bishop g2, bishop b7. So this was all passive. G4. I think he was slightly ambitious here. Uh, that's probably why he played H4, but I believe that's a bad move. Is it? That's... Uh, Whose voice I... is that? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. What happened? Who is you? that? You don't know. 
No. No. Okay. Who gate um, crashed into the stream? Let's see. How about your favorite student? He is there in the stream since such a long time, no? Oh God! What happened to your video? Not on. Simple. Uh, I was telling you, no, like I was telling you no, before the stream. Uh, celebs of a certain caliber. To see them, you have to really earn it. You can't just see them just like that. And. Uh, so, how have you seen me till now? I haven't no. I haven't seen you in uh, the last one year after the ah, online okay. Olympiad. Okay. Okay. Hello, 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 Divya. Okay. Okay, you guys continue. Huh? I just you guys continue the analysis. Ha! Huh, how will you see it? Um. I'll add you. It's a sport. Do you still? Uh, Use that ID. Yes, I do. Is that it's public, right? Um, the what? Ah, is that dog? Did Sorry, is that the dog barking at her place? So how can I play? Log in, log in to Leeches, and you can okay. follow. Okay. Ha, Arjun, you continue. Yeah, so, Isha, Isha, probably there is this. It's something like King D four or King D four. Mm hmm. I think we have all three results are are possible. All all three results are possible. Mm hmm. Because. This B4 point would be very strong. If I lose A6 and these two points fall, and also these don't seem don't seem to be so secure. H and G points. Hmm. My knight is passive. Yeah, you cannot play knight D5 because of bishop E5 check. Yeah. Probably objectively white has a great chance of winning. It feels a bit unpleasant for black actually to it find actually this. Does. Probably, I should try to handle something like this. Mm -hmm. I think it, it should be holdable. Yeah, I think it should be holdable. Uh, yeah. H5 I was thinking King F5 actually. Uh, a direct king like direct King F5. Yeah. Yeah. and uh, here I, I didn't see a good move for black but black can just wait yeah like black probably has to just wait and uh, at the right moment go knight d5 since uh, with the presence of these two pawns i think you can always uh, give this up and get knight d5 and so take I on before at some point should end with bishop e5 and transpose yeah this transposes both this I actually don't see a clear way how to make it. There should be a way, I'm sure. Yeah, I also also think there should be a way. Okay, I think I found one. 98. Hmm. Yeah. 98 was old. Why is the first time? Hmm? This is the first time I'm seeing this game. It took me like two minutes to find out where the points are going. Okay. Two minutes to find out where the pawns are going. So in leeches, if you go to settings, uh, there is a place where you can turn the coordinates on. And uh, uh, the eight seven goes towards uh, the white queen, and mm -hmm. two one one goes towards the black queen. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Arjun. Yeah. Ah, huh, yeah. I think. I think. Uh, this does look like it holds. Yeah, this should be. And 
<laughs> things could go badly for white as well. Uh, true. With all these pawns, like for example, if he takes this and yeah, this, is this, this loses, yeah. 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 I think King F four has to be played here, but he has to give up one of these bishops at some point, so it should be available. Yeah, White can also, I think, uh, just maintain the balance and sit. So yeah. I think draw should be a logical result. Yeah, or it, it can be something like like this, and I assume this is a draw. Yeah, because king cannot move forward. King has to stay here, and the black king yeah, has to stay. Tried going here, but yeah, whenever king is here, it's a king goes. Hmm. Can I do? Ah, I think it's clever to play king c four because with king c six, the turn is king b three, h four, king b four, g three, king c. Ah, G two bishop e four check comes with it. Anyway, H three. H three is there, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. And uh, it should be good. Why it should not over? After H three, it's actually black who's winning, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this position should be good. Yeah, yeah. There should be a draw. Anyway, I think we can uh, get back to the game. This is getting a bit too mm -hmm. complex for the people. Yeah. So. It Get H four. Probably he wanted to be. Ambitious. Bit too complex for the people, or or you know the answer. You. No, I didn't say it. Am I continue? Divya, I uh, invited you to the stream to troll Arjun, not me. Yeah, yeah so everybody gets a chance. Come on. Fine. It's getting too complex for me, Arjun. So let's get back to the game. Happy? Yes, sir. Yeah, so he wanted to keep both the points alive, but this allowed my defense. No way he's going this. Absolutely no way because he just can never take here because then this pawn would start rolling and when his bishop starts it, this pawn will kill. Right. So I could probably directly play H5, but I didn't say that just he cannot take this one, so I wanted to protect him. Yeah, of course, greedy a Jew. It's important not to allow H5 for a benefit. Why? Because it, the pawn on H6 could be a danger at some point. Yeah. And, so and also, it just allows White to make some moves, yeah? Yeah, and let's say if the pawn gets to H6, let's make some random mm -hmm. So here, if white waits something like this, I can maybe still win. But it's just a safer version with, with my pawn on H5 and his pawn on H4. Absolutely, absolutely. It's much safer. So bishop even from B5. He should have played bishop C3 here. Yeah. Resisted. Yeah, in the game, he just blundered with this. King D4, and now this pawn is going to pawn it. He just cannot stop with it. Right. Don't have one with me. Nice. And this is how you got into the blitz tie breaks. Yeah, so here, bishop C3 and. I wasn't exactly sure. A5 was a one idea. But I think if I can triangulate somehow and get this question with white to move, then it should be win. But how can you triangulate if he has a bishop? That's what I'm wondering. Whenever you go king d5, he comes bishop c3. Otherwise, he just keeps the bishop on e1 or d2. He has three squares with the bishop. Mm. A, uh, it has to be either a5 or g3. Ah, G3, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, G3 just win. Yeah, G3 looks safer because you don't want to give this extra pawn buzzer yeah, for white. Yeah, G3, I didn't consider doing I just yeah, This is just great. I still have three pawns for the piece. And... 
yeah and the sipon is just so fast although yeah i think i think black is just faster yeah uh, although yeah sometimes you can be worried about the white taking the h5 pawn and if yeah, the pawn okay. is fast even in that case i think i would i would probably which a winning queen and then even if both pawns go yeah and here you can also i guess start with f4 check to gain yeah, the tempo is the question yeah yeah Probably this was a better match and display. True. Um. Yeah, I was extremely happy with this win because, firstly, I beat Lake Lake Bomb with Black in a must win situation. A former World Blitz champion. Yeah, and that too, I got a worst position out of the opening. And then I again screwed up in a totally one position. I had to win it all over again, which I managed. So yeah, too happy with myself. I was very proud. good, proud of you. Thank you. Also, I was slightly happy to see me hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sheena Dhanas, favorite student. But we didn't get it. Okay, let's move on to the next. Yeah, one. let's move on. Yeah. But Divya, you claim that you are my favorite student, no? Yeah, that too I am. But but uh, but like it's okay. I'm Arjun is a kid. I let him have it. I'm officially a major. Okay. You are officially what? A major. I recently turned eighteen. True, true, true. But only officially, yeah. Yeah. He's a bit old, but I'm all the time surrounded by his minor kids. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Yeah, this moving one, on. This was the second blitz game. It was against Sam Shankland. Second blitz game, I said. No, your second game against Shankland or uh, the second round. No, the second round. Ah, okay. This was on the first day. So after your first round draw against Nihal. Yes. How did that make you feel? That draw. Yeah. It was normal. It was a solid win. You didn't was... wish that Nihal should have lost or something. Nothing. And that game, I was happy with it. Though, but the next day, I lost with White. That was terrible. Oh, actually, I should ask this to Shreena. No, no. What What did the result did you want? A draw between uh, yeah. between Nihal and Arjun. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think draw is a good result. That's what they do most of the time, anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, I should have offered it in the second game with White, like you did in Riga. Like I did in Riga, yeah. But yeah, that game we played well, and I was missing a lot of things. Yeah, that game you were missing a lot of things. It just didn't flow for you on the second day, and uh, he was in a good flow. Yeah, um, I had a very shaky start to the game. True. Okay, so this game with Shankar, he's a very big dealer this year. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm just this this theoretical end, but okay, I managed to get some some position. By the way, this is the end which you taught me long ago. I remember, yeah. Yeah, it was in Before the game against Abdul Saturo. Right. The Anand the Chris Chub game. Uh, yes, it was similar. It was similar or, or the exact same. It was yeah. similar. It was not the exact same. The theme was the same. The strategic theme was Bishop into C six. Mm, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, and I remember that match was to D20 was either the C2 or the E2. I did for something like this. And White Moons to claim that this match was slightly misplaced. Extend on the queen side at some point. But I didn't know what to start with between this and this. So I went for this. And oh, okay. Although computer says claims this is just equal, I I like that question. It feels more pleasant. Yeah, it feels more pleasant. So he played this. Play five. It's, it's, it's a useful move for him to play six. Mm -hmm. so he has to, play. yeah, otherwise you put your pawn on a six. Yeah, I play it. Or b5. Okay, he has to play. So here he should have just gone back bishop e. So bishop f5. Was uh, allowing your pawn to e4 uh, bad for him strategically because you just have more space? Mm, yes, I think so. Because with this more bishop effect, there's a deep pawn. Black is actually threatening to take pawn deep. Nice. And there is no good way to deal with it. So if I take on F6, this is already comfortable for him. And uh, Rook D1 is just bad because of Knight D4. Yeah. Uh, you you want to say Knight D4? Bishop E6. Okay, he can start with this. Queen C4. Then uh, Knight D4. Knight. Okay, got it. Got it. So I don't get the D4 then. Yeah. This position should be down the body, or maybe black is more comfortable. Okay. So, yeah, he should have done this. But he took it. I was already quite happy with my position. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very pleasant. Yeah, very pleasant. Also, he plays quite fast in the end. Shanty. Yeah. True. Yeah, we traded a few pieces. The pen game is very pleasant for me. And I did feel that I have a great chance of playing. Your favorite uh, thing of trading the queens also happened. No, they, I realized it used to be my favorite, but I don't think it is my favorite anymore. I'm Only pawn grabbing is your favorite. Trading yeah, the queens? Uh, not his favorite anymore, it seems. Yeah, I'm losing a lot in endgames. Yeah, the way the VS edited it went to a totally uh, different tangent. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is just a pleasant question. I think it's a good event. And yeah, after this move, F6. I also get knight h4, knight f5, or knight g6. Also, I'm, I'm manual this knight quite a lot. For some f3, it went to h4. I got a nice 4 is to, 4 is to 3 picture here. And you can never play something like b6 or b5 because it's just a b6. And this is very pleasant for e4 is weak, f5 is weak. My technique was somewhat sloppy, sloppy but my advantage never was. Mm. It was a good enough technique for a blitz game, yeah? For a blitz game, yeah. And this night went with b6, a. What were you doing with the knight? It just gaining time, repeating. Yeah, although I had more time then, but it's always nice to repeat once and then change. It feels like you are the boss. Yeah, I think this is winning, but it, it could have put more resistance with C4. Rugby sound check? Yeah. 
Cool. So that's your two favorite games of this tournament. Oh uh, yes. Also, um, beating Vidit gave me a lot of confidence. Uh, that was uh, three rounds before, yeah. Oh uh, yes. So I was having an off day clearly. I scored half out of three, and fourth round I was winning the tournament. Mm-hmm. Since I was better, I couldn't convert that. And then I beat Levon with Black, which gave me a lot of confidence. And then I lost to Bukesh with White. So I yeah, I think a... beating Levon with Dragon like that was also something amazing. Yeah, too. But if I hit Nigel, if I was almost close to winning that when I beat him. Okay, no idea which question you're talking about, but I can bring that up. Yeah. I was worried of that. Later, he said he cannot believe he couldn't say that. He didn't say that. What were you and Aronian uh, talking in between the blitz tiebreak? Uh, there was like a banner for every player and mm-hmm. a picture of them. So we were saying, "I look much, much happier in that picture." Just super GM talks. Yes. Just super GM talks. Yep. Okay, not you, him. Yeah. Arjun is not a super GM. He twenty six. What a super GM? Twenty six fifty, right? I don't know. Twenty seven. I've never gone. Close to those regions, yeah, so how would I know? Yeah. F I N I G F I. We should see it. I saw until C four. I thought I can go knight F four, and then I kicked the knight with F six. But I overlooked this. Oh yeah, and then C five is just over or what? Yeah, probably I have just something like that. I was thinking something like this. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not over yet, but. Excel and certain, and this is not the only reason. After this, maybe some G three ninety six C five. It's just a typical dragon position, no? Maybe, but I felt I I should be totally worth it. Yeah, that's why I call it a typical dragon push. Oh yeah, I followed Anisha's post by the way. So ah, pieces is the flashy mode that is played often, but. He's just putting it out there. So if any blame comes to him, he can just pass it on to Anish. No, there is also a reason why Anish doesn't market his dragon as aggressively as his knight or. Yeah, he's he, quite honest that way. He recommends the key at that point being knight e four queen six. Since the bishop is not committed to e six, but black gets f five. Like usually, if the bishop is on e six. 
Hmm. Whenever black goes f5, white gets knight g5. So white need not play bishop c4. Uh, okay. Yeah. Here white can play something. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. But with this, white has uh, white has committed bishop c4, and that is probably right way to black seven. Although white is still doing quite well. F5. He should have played knight g5. Or another option was knight d6. Temporarily exactly certain, but we have c4. But I believe this should be great compensation for him. Good mm. deal. My bishop, my d4, d4, d4. Uh, it look it looks like a decent counter play for black, especially in a blitz game. Yeah, especially with uh, the absence of a dark square bishop. Yeah. I I I'd, I'd be more comfortable with black to be honest, practically, mm. unless if d five is getting lost immediately. I don't only think I'm worried is queen a five and rook d two, rook d one, and quickly d five falling here. Yeah? Awesome rook d5 followed by rook d1. Yeah, yeah. That uh rook d5 followed by rook d1. No. At the least you should have some queen b6, I guess. It should be equal, I think. Yeah, if white wants to survive, he can go for rook d5. Yeah. If white wants more, then rook d Maybe I can play rook d7. Actually, I'm not sure if King B6 works. You can just take on D5 with the rook, right? Mm -hmm. Just take one. D5 with the rook, right? You're not sure of what? King B6 mm -hmm. works after yeah, that. Like, King B6 with D5. Yeah, exactly. White still puts some pressure. Sorry? White still exerts some pressure. Yeah, you, you have to start I mean, with King H8. Yeah. Sorry, after the B1. Hmm. Uh, here it already it okay. it looks like a pressure. Yeah, it looks like pressure for it. Is it though? Because I don't know. I'm confused. Queen B five. Yeah, this is probably some pressure. There's some pressure, but it should be okay for black also. Yeah, probably the best is this. Yeah, which wouldn't work with the rook on d8 because of rook d8. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think I think that's uh, it has been a longer stream than I actually intended. So we'll just take some final questions from the chat and uh, we'll wind up for tonight. Yeah. Moving back. So, chat. Uh, any final questions for Arjun? Uh, any questions for Divya as well? But be nice, be respectful, and uh, with me, you can always. Uh, I have always do a question. Anime. Why was that be nice, be respectful only when it came to my case and not his case? Because people are uh, more often rude to you. To me. Huh. In the chat. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Is that's what you used to say at one point? But uh, in general, they are. Moving on. With Arjun, who is rude anyway? Such a nice kid, always smiling. Killer <laughs> looks on the board, off the board. <laughs> See, it's for this also, he's just smiling in the same way. Yeah, that's a good question. Where do we see Arjun next? I'll be playing in Sijil for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not fully sure if I'll be in love with him, but I think I, I should be able to know. Right. Which is also where I think uh, Nihal is playing. 
and divya what about you me hmm? um i actually don't know. all right i am going one second and you also can continue let's see sorry uh continue what Yeah. Uh, no, there's just some dogs barking, so I'm not speaking with them. Ah. Uh, Arjun. Uh, yeah, I was saying you'll also play the World Rapid and Blitz, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This will be my first time. I'm excited. Yeah. Which format do you enjoy the most? Blitz. Which format do you enjoy the most? Blitz. Ah, Blitz. Okay. I thought I'll try with it. No, online shit. I'm not so much interested in anymore. It has become too much, yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, how did you manage your studies with chess? Yeah, so I didn't give my exams until ten. For ten, I took a long break. I don't know, like three months or something. That is where when I played Turkey. Ah yeah, I remember. Yeah, so since ten, ten I have been given my board exams. Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve I survived, but I was studying yet. Oh yeah, this is a nice question by Prakriyat. Uh, who is Arjun's best friend? I have a few. Do I have to pick one? Yes. Yes. I would pick Sid. <clears throat> What? <clears throat> Nothing. Devi, what about you? What? Why are, you, why are you doing this? The <laughs> chat is asking. That is that is a point asked of that, stream. Okay. Chat didn't ask that. Look, uh, Prakyat Prakash started with who is Arjun's best friend. He wrote it four times. So. Here you have to. It's all about the janta, for the people, by the people. It was for Arjun, right? Not me. See, same okay. question for Divya by Anshika. The Skyler asked the same thing. Who is your best friend, Divya? Um, I don't have one. You don't have one. No. Wow. Take that answer. Take that answer. Would would that answer have been different before Arjun answered? Hmm. Actually, no. Okay. So Jit is asking, hope he is coming for the Abu Dhabi Open. I don't think a lot of people will play Abu Dhabi Open because there is no classical event this year. There will only be rapid and blitz. Uh, so only those who are playing in uh, the Dubai blitz might play in Abu Dhabi. Others uh, uh, also it's clashing with Sijjas, I think. Pranjsho is asking, is Shrinath Anna strict? Shri Anna strict? Yes. What? No, he is not. No, I'm not. Same question to Shreena. Come on, who is your best friend? My best friend. Yes. I also don't have one. Same oh, answer really? as Divya. Oh really? Oh yeah. really? Right. <laughs> Same answer as Divya. Come on, I'm the only one who answered. Huh? We all answered <laughs> truthfully. Yeah. Yeah. What came in our mind? Arjun's thoughts on Carlson versus Nepo. Madness is the favorite, but I don't think it's such a huge difference. Really? I mean, strength difference is not as much as people think. And Devya, what do you think? And what did Arjun say? He said Carlson is the favorite, but the difference is not as big as what people think. Um. Yeah, I think I I have the same thing. Are you Are you both uh, still rooting against Carlson like you did in Turkey? Yes. 
No, maybe. <laughs> Not that I'm looting against magnets, but I generally like to root for the underdog. Yeah. Generally, yeah. so if I play against Nihal, you root for me. No. I won't. Huh? 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 Yeah. Okay. Why are you so sensitive? You will or you won't? I said I would. I will. If you say so. I've never uh, seen you root for me. Actually. Anyway, you always make dots with me, right? <laughs> No. One position. No. I always beat Nihal. Once or twice we make a draw. I I remember uh, in China you were winning and you you gave him a draw. Hey, that because AS have ordered me to quit the tournament. But you didn't get to know that. No one. Had... Before the game, they told me. As soon as I beat Vedit, I got a call. Then why did you play with Nihal? Because if I gave walkover, it would look like cheating. And if I offer a draw before I got a good position, then he obviously he wouldn't accept. <laughs> so I got out of the tournament as quickly as I could. Okay. But otherwise, I always beat Nihal. You know, score is like four and a half, one and a half. Sure, sure, we beat that. Yeah, four and a half, one and a half. And that too because of two agreed draws, because of which my percentage became bad. I don't have such a good score against anyone else. The way I have with me, I have hundred percent score against me. Who? With you? Ah, you have hundred percent score against me. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, our first game happened too late when you stopped being scared of people. Yes. Questions for Arjun and Divya. Is Srinath sir funny? No. If. Yes. Okay, I hate to admit it. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> See, Devi, you understand why some people are my favorite student and some people are not, yeah? Yeah, but I can't lie to become a favorite student. I'll be fan lying. You will be what? Um, are you not? No, I didn't hear what Arjun said. No, I said as if I'm lying. You never lie, Arjun. Of course, I know you're a good boy. Sure, sure. You play Catalan most of the time. Most of the times. We saw what happened when you play one B three on the stream today. The one game you played one B three. All right. So final question, and then. Uh, I'm going to send off Arjun and Divya off. And no, I'll, also, I'll also end the stream. <laughs> okay, what's the final question? Uh, I'm just waiting for a good question. Um, Divya, you can pick the final question for Arjun. Okay, for Arjun. Huh. Okay. Nice, nice to have you on stream after such a long time. Yeah, mutual feelings. All right. Wow, such a long silence. I have to choose the most hardest question, no? Sure. Arjun, are you feeling tired after your journey today? I was tired in the. Oh, Divya, when did you come on video? That's what I said. No, for your wife. I don't have space for three people here. Okay, I'll turn it off. I'll uh, just go to a different. Okay. Come, come.
think my zoom is bigger than I wanted now. No, of course Arjun will not play Valo. He only plays Ultra Bullet as a video game. I actually tried Valorant, but I just suck it. You play Valorant? I tried it once. But I don't oh, know. when? Long ago. I got inspired by watching Eskimos. Really? Well, who streams? He streamed that. Who's? Shrinath. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I am. See, he's a good boy. More like a teacher's pet, but okay, cool. He's an actual good boy. If that's what you want to believe. Divya, are you planning to run the stream all night? No, uh, I actually can't, can't find the chat. It's not loading. You can't choose a single question? I can't see the chat. Why? I don't know. It's not loading. Oh, okay. So, uh, Arjun, when are you opening your YouTube channel? Never. Never? Come on, even uh, Nihal has one. Ah, uh, but okay. I, I don't think I'm the kind of person who can speak. You spoke a lot today. Yes, but I don't really enjoy streaming myself. Rahul Pawar, what kind of a super chat is that to Arjun or any of us? <laughs> what was the super chat? Armenia or Azerbaijan? Azerbaijan. I only remember Sagar when. Yeah, even I thought the same. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. There's a question for Divya. Uh, is yeah. Arjun really that quiet as he's on stream? No. No. He just doesn't shut up. Is that a complaint? Why are you, why, why are you fixing me in a spot? But okay, no. He's, he's okay. He's decent. He's a good boy, no? Yeah, kind of. Okay, so one uh, final question. Tanmay has asked this like a million times. So, how is Srinath different from any other coach you train? Yeah, with? actually, I was going to take that question. And with that, you can. Arjun, you can answer, then answer. Let me think. Well, firstly, like, you're not, like, there's not too much age difference between us. Uh, even more so from a spirit kind of thing, right? That, it feels like we are almost the same age. Like, I'm 19, you're 18. 90 is 9-0. 1-9. Yeah, okay, that is one thing, so... We bond a bit better, perhaps because of that. Mm-hmm. But Arjun, you once told me that Srinath has never coached you. What about that? He's like what a do mentor. you have to say? Okay. He's like a mentor, he's not a coach. Oh, okay. Right. And yeah, he's very friendly. Okay, this I think most of the coaches have. Speechless. Can you see that? There are certain certain things which I I talk to Shrinath, but not to other coaches. So maybe that one is better. Yeah, things that can never be revealed anyway. Yeah. I am here. I am here to reveal. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, so 
I don't know. from like um, when he, we are talking about chess he'll be completely focused as a coach and he'll give all the advices and then he can also be there for you in the if you ever stop him from trouble even otherwise he'll be there for you in everything almost and the bond gets better i guess that way all right thank you that was in the form Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, but I said thank you not for that for joining the stream. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you is like a polite way to say uh, please leave in streaming etiquette. You heard that, Arjun? He said thank you to you. I said thank you to both of you. Okay, fine. but thank you thank you so much for joining uh, divya and arjun it was a lot of fun we did this after a whole year last year all of us were uh, a lot freer in general and we were hanging out in streams all the time this year things have gotten a bit more uh, busier so we are here a lot less than usual but uh, thank you so much both of you for joining and uh, as always it's a pleasure and hope to see more of you guys on stream whenever you like it was fun yeah. you will if you invite us then we will see more of us no hey how can i invite such uh, big busy people um you have to respect their time also no not like before not like when you didn't have a twitter account 10000 followers 15000 followers you go stalking correct only no when when did you last when did we last speak we spoke today morning did we yeah now that oh remember. yeah right right <laughs> that wasn't really talking you know it was you sending something me replying not a conversation last conversation was on uh, children's day when you brutally replied back to me But okay, I'm proud of that one. What did she say? I can imagine. Yeah, everyone can imagine in the chat. Chalo, all right. Thank you so much. I'll yes, hang out with the chat you. for like two, three minutes, and then I'll end the stream. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. See thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Oh, it's also forty minutes past Divya's bedtime. Please come on. Past get over it. Divya self proclaimed bedtime. Get over it. <laughs> sorry, sorry so much Divya for keeping you up past your bedtime. No, it's fine. I'll keep you up. Okay. Bye. 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 All right uh, that was a lot of fun and let me close zoom before uh, some accident happens so that was a fun stream that was a fun side of arjun at times and also we saw some of his spectacular chess games so i hope there was some decent balance and you enjoyed the ultra bullet part i didn't take questions like who is tougher nihal or prag because uh, to be honest both are extraordinarily skillful and uh, uh, tough in different ways the main difference between feroja and our indian youngsters feroja is just stronger and uh, i think that says it that sums it up feroja is just stronger right now and uh, but yeah these are all kids they are all growing they are all growing very fast so uh it will uh, these things keep changing it's a very dynamic thing who is stronger at what time and uh, 
who is not so a few final questions before i tune out today and i'm not sure if i'll be doing title tuesday tomorrow because i'm starting to have some commitments from wednesday morning so this title tuesday it goes from 11:30 at night to 1:30 really late so i'll see i would like to play i would like to stream it if i'm playing but i'm not entirely sure if i'll do it this week i want to uh i need to i need to sleep a bit early at night for a few days i'm thoroughly exhausted already and uh, staying up late is really uh, demanding my thoughts on feroja's incredible run i think vishy really summed it up uh, perfectly by uh, describing him so as breathless he was uh, he's amazing he's incredible and uh, a once in a generation talent nihal is incredibly solid i wouldn't call it drawish he's very safe he's very solid so that goes both ways you know sometimes you see uh, someone like abdus satru he creates something out of nothing but he also loses games which he has no business losing with nihal you know that uh, uh, things are uh, safe and secure and uh, what's one point our uh, youngsters should improve to get to the 2750 level um there's no one single thing like that as i mentioned yesterday on stream when you get past 2650 it's no longer uh, broad categorization of strengths and weaknesses it's more about uh, you know knowing uh, increasing your range of known positions analyzing more and more and uh, getting better having said that one area where all our kids can probably progress is physical fitness this none of our kids are uh, uh, i'm not a great example here myself personally but uh, the kids the work they do right now um, when they get into their uh, you know early 20s and the late 20s it will make a difference at 17 18 it feels like you have unlimited energy as you move into your 20s and early 30s it really starts making a difference so uh, that is that is one area where working starting to work right now will make a big difference especially if they are fighting for the world championship cycle that is really really demanding at a whole different level the candidates already demanding at a whole different level and the world championship takes a lot out of you so you uh, they really have to be robust you have to have incredible uh, reserves of stamina to get there and win something like that master ugwe do you see world championship getting its result in classical itself this time i think i think yeah i think i think magnus will win in the classical portion i think magnus is stronger in general in chess and uh, nepo can be quite uh, uh he has shown that he can uh, blow hot and blow cold and uh, has uh, a certain kind of inconsistency which can uh, be very expensive in a world championship match all right uh nihal versus grishchuk scc how would you sum it up i think nihal is just uh, getting stronger in the speed chess format he's become uh, really fast and uh, smart in how Uh, the type of positions he chooses to get into he has always been one of the best uh, players in online uh, blitz and uh, arjun is also very good there by the way but uh, nihal has just been a bit stronger there and uh, it is uh, showing nihal might be in the top 5 uh, players in uh, online blitz in general magnus hikaru ali reza uh, the clear top 3 and uh, nihal might be in the next ring you know uh nihal versus rapport uh, the date has still not yet been fixed all right guys so thank you so much i'm going to sign off with that for now and uh, see you all maybe tomorrow i'm not sure again if i will stream title tuesday but i definitely look forward to streaming the arena kings and if there are any uh, tournaments happening on chess 24 india then i will probably uh, play those arenas as well you know as of uh, for a change from uh, the uh, chess.com title tuesday and uh, these things so that is going to be uh, my week for this week uh, a bit more of a slow week 
compared to the previous week but uh, maybe two or two two or three days of uh, stream so thank you so much see you guys and uh, do like the stream subscribe to the channel if you haven't a big thank you once again to all the people watching uh, once again you guys have been with us for such a long time you have been fabulous uh, supporting us all through so thank you so much and love you all and bye bye